Dr. Stephen Daniel, the co-founder of chronicrenice.com, coming to you from Maui, Hawaii. We do practice the most extensive form of diagnostic energy medicine remotely all over the world every day. And I want to share something uh, that's recent, that's helpful. Um, many years ago, I was presenting at a conference and I had, from weight training, had damaged my right arm so much that my right hand, I could hold a glass, but I couldn't close it to pick up a pencil, and I couldn't open it wide. And one of the participants had seen that. And so on a break, he came up and he said, do you mind if I work on your arm? I said, absolutely not. I'm always wanting to learn something. And I had done physical therapy and cortisone injections and acupuncture, nothing had worked. And so he worked on my forearm with certain touch points for about 20 minutes, and all of a sudden, I had usage back, full usage, which I hadn't had for probably a year and a half. And I asked him, what happened? What did you do? And he said, you had a splinting action in that arm. And I said, well, what's a splinting action? And he said, well, you know, in terms of evolution, years ago, if you're running from the dinosaur and you injured your ankle and you couldn't limp off to the cave, you got eaten. And so the body learned to split, stiffen up all the muscles, the connective tissue on both sides of that injury so that you could hobble off and heal. He said, you know, you've had an injury there years ago. It never released the splinting action. Well, recently I had done neuroplasticity on a chronic elbow injury that I'd had for 30 years and cleared that completely and most of my chronic pain, but I recognize, you know, my right form, if I touched it, if I just manipulated it, there's still a lot of deep stiffness and pain. So I went in and I did neuroplasticity on a splinting action, and I got rid of all the pain. Well, the first thing I thought about is splinting action for a physical injury. Since then, I've also seen that a person can have a splintal action from other things. Like, let's say that somebody was sexually assaulted. Do you think they braced their body to protect themselves? Well, that's a splinting action. So it may be something worth pursuing, and, and all of our QT practitioners have been trained in this technique. If you have something that just won't release, there's this chronic pain, chronic stiffness, besides doing no plasticity on that injury, you might want to look at splinting action. It's been a life changer for a number of people. Have a blessed day from Quantum Techniques and Mountain.